to new body i am latrivia and i will be doing a general reading for the collective audience today if you are new to my channel welcome and thank you for joining me don't forget to like comment subscribe share if you are a regular follower of mine thank you for your love light and support okay so let's get started so while i get to clear the energies get ready for this reading I just want to make note reminder of my disclaimer that you know while I am a holistic health practitioner I am NOT a licensed medical professional so any messages that come through me surround the energy of whatever health and wellness issue that we're discussing or that I'm discussing and the same goes for any um, messages that surround any unsavory behavior okay be sure to check with your medical professionals your legal professionals all right this is a general reading it's not a personal reading um, some of the message may apply none of the message may apply take what does and leave the rest oh did we run out of gas oh i think so i must have used it all up all right, so let's get started. Let's get the energy around what's going on at the moment. So today is the 25th. It is the last day of Mercury retrograde. Okay, so uh, just remember that uh, it's going to be a tail end of it. Some residual Mercury retrograde shenanigans to be able to put you on notice. All right. Just one second, we have shenanigans here. I have to make sure. All right, sorry about that. I need proof of shenanigans. Receipt. Okay. Hope everyone's having a great afternoon so far. So we have Magician in the Mirror, card number 53. We have uh, Angel of Love in the reverse. So if someone was trying to manifest love, it did not work. Angel of Love said no. Someone could be 53, someone could be 35, someone could be born in 1953. Five and three is eight. Eight is about abundance, manifestation. They did not manifest any love. The magician in the mirror is like the uh, magician in the tarot card. is saying, look in the mirror. You have all the resources, all the tools you need to manifest. But you're not manifesting love today. If you were trying to manifest, you or someone you know, uh, was trying to manifest someone specific, then that may be the issue why you're not. Not to say that you can't manifest love. Because clearly you're the magician and uh, that's what the magician do, does is uh, manifest, right? But if you're trying to manifest someone specific, nah. Someone could be 49, someone could be born in 1994. Reduces down to three. Sorry, reduces down to four. Four is about structure, stability also about manifestation and again not manifesting love now so someone's all tied up I think I had that earlier this card earlier in my reading uh, this morning and someone has anxiety about it so someone's in an entanglement I feel like these are the same card you got the thinking man again Not, and this is in the reverse. So if someone was in an anxiety, they're not now. Someone's journey has been blocked. All tied up is card number 23. So it could be 23. Someone could be 32. 3 and 2 is 5. It's change. Anxiety is card number 18. 1 and 8 is 9. 9 is about cycles ending. It's about things coming to fruition. 
It's in the reverse, though. So, again, someone was trying to manifest love. The energy that I'm getting just off these four cards is that um, someone was already in an entanglement trying to manifest someone specific in a love relationship, and it was denied. It was either denied by the other person's guides or, or uh, spiritual team, God, Allah, whoever this person connects to, and or it was denied by the person themselves. All right. So you have a woman hold, holding a coin in the reverse. And again, this was like this morning's reading of, of similar cards coming out. That's why I try to um, switch up the decks so that the, you know, the readings don't repeat themselves. You have woman is holding a coin in reverse, card number 42. Someone could be 42, someone could be 24, someone could be born in 1942. Four and two is six. Six is about harmony, and it's in the reverse. Woman holding a coin in reverse, um, she lost her money. Business, resources, she mishandled money. Um, or she never had the money to begin with, okay? Appreciation's in reverse. Could be this woman holding a coin, didn't appreciate the person that she was with, and she's trying to manifest them back, and it's a no. Let me get some energy on this anxiety in reverse. Yeah. Well, somebody's obviously not all bent out of shape about it. But that's the... the that's what I'm getting is that this woman... Holding a coin in reverse, who has no money, didn't appreciate, uh, you know, what she had. Looking at someone uh, who has a garden full of roses behind her, admiring the beauty. This person didn't do that. Maybe she's the one in an entanglement. Trying to manifest someone back. And it's a no-go. It's a no-go, people. So you have envy and happy, happy in the reverse. This woman is envying someone else's relationship or... or um, the fact that someone's not in anxiety about a relationship not working out or um, I heard earlier that um, a feminine in the reverse uh, stole a masculine from someone else and they were expecting that that other feminine to be in anxiety and all bent out of shape about it and she wasn't my 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 happy happy's in reverse someone's not this is like uh the ten of cups in in the tarot wish fulfillment happy happy family good job you know everything's good life is good it's in the reverse Card number four. You have daughter romance. Whoop. You have daughter romance and caring connection. So there's a love connection coming in from somebody, but it ain't her. You have four. Four is uh, talk about structure and stability. Also about manifestation. It's in the reverse. So this woman here is not manifesting the happy, happy family in life that she thought she was manifesting or that she wanted and desired. Whoop, sorry about that. 
So let's crack on, shall we? All right. This is definitely Tea Thursday. Hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. By the time this posts, it will be evening. So you have victory in reverse. She was not victorious in creating or manifesting uh, said relationship or said happy life. Um, I just posted uh, What's the Tea Thursday and it talked about a feminine energy, a feminine with Jezebel energy. Uh, same thing, trying to uh, do spell work and it didn't work. There's no spell work here other than, you know, being the magician and the magician can imply uh, doing spell work. Uh, you can be a magician and a master manifester without doing spell work. This, this woman wasn't victorious in creating this. She could be envying someone else's relationship or, you know, envying other people who are in happy relationships, stable jobs, uh, secure income, that kind of thing. Victory is card number 28. Someone could be 28. Someone could be born in 1982. 2 and 8 is 10. 10 is about completion. Something ended. It's done. Stick a fork in it. Done deal, son. It's done, son. What else we have? So we have man holding a heart. We have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. What I'm getting is that this this woman didn't use her her uh, intuition, her connections to the divine. She didn't connect to the divine. She tried to do some underhanded stuff. Um, Seven chakra is about your, your crown chakra. That's how you receive messages from the divine, Allah, Vishnu, Jehovah, whoever you connect with, right? As above, so below. So you receiving the, the messages from above. Um, she didn't connect. That could be why her manifestations didn't work. She would have known that, you know, this was not the relationship for her or this was not... Uh, this man holding the heart is holding the heart for someone else. You have 14. Ooh, 41 on the card. Someone could be 41. Someone could be born in 1941. 4 and 1 is 5. 5 is about change. You have 45 on the card. Someone could be 45. Someone could be 54. Someone could be born in 1954. Someone could be born April 5th or May 4th. Take it as it resonates. 4 and 5 is 9. Nine is about cycles ending. Things coming to fruition. So, if it hasn't happened yet, it's ha it is happening. I'm sorry, if it hasn't ended yet, it will be ending. Nines are about endings. Cycles ending, meaning it's coming to an end. Whereas, tens are about is done. That cycle or whatever situation... Is done. Tens are completion, uh, ultimate completion. What else do we have? What else do we have? Oh, nope. Confirmation. Something ended. Being confirmed. So you have the first chakra in the upright, and you have the sixth chakra in the reverse. First chakra is the root chakra, and it's about survival. Fight or flight. It's about being grounded. Card number 35. Someone could be 35. Someone could be 53. Someone could be born in 1953. Someone could be born March 5th or May 3rd. Take it as it resonates. 3 and 5 is 8. 8 is about abundance, attainment, manifestation. So this man is connected to his root chakra. He's getting grounded. He's getting balanced. Maybe he went through some things with this woman doing spell work on him, and now he has to, you know, regroup. However, sixth chakra in reverse, that's about the third eye chakra, okay? That's 
oop, right there in between your eyebrows. What that saying to me is perhaps he or her didn't see something coming. Third eye is about your, your clairvoyance or you, you being able to see um, messages, pictures, words, however it is it works for you. You're seeing something, okay? And maybe he didn't see this coming or maybe she didn't see that this relationship was not for her because you have both the crown chakra and the uh, uh, third eye chakra in reverse. So not only are they not listening to spirit and the messages, the ancestors and so forth, they're not seeing, you know, you, they're not uh, seeing the whole picture. They're not seeing, um, connecting and tuning in to be able to say, okay, I see what she's doing or I see he's not for me, even though I want him to be, you know, the energy that I'm getting is if you have to do magic spell work, whatever, to get someone to be with you, you have to keep doing that over and over because eventually it's going to wear off. And when it does wear off and that person finds out, that person can be pissed, not happy, angry. And in some cases, um, some cases where I've, I've heard through uh, other people's testimony is, is that that other person was enraged. And, and that type of uh, enrage um, can cost lives, bodily injuries, you know. So that's why you don't play with stuff you don't know nothing about. Because if you knew about it, then you would know you're manipulating someone's free will. You know, when you're forcing someone to do something and then they come out of that and they find out, woo, I wouldn't want to be on the end of that course I wouldn't do something like that anyways so you have attachment and you have angel of strength so if there was an attachment such as this spell work it's not there anymore either this man or this woman is feeling like they don't have the strength to keep you know being in this or doing what they do you have hostilities at the bottom of the deck let me get some more on this uh, angel of strength. It's in the reverse. Just want to see what's going on. It, ha! It says, angel of strength in the reverse. This card indicates that you are not perceiving the truth of your own power. Okay? And I said that, like, whoop, all right then. You're not seeing you're not perceiving the truth. If you were connected, tapped in, you wouldn't be doing this. You you would not be uh, trying to manipulate someone else if you was tapped in on the right side of things. Put it that way. So this is the uh, situation... You find yourself in, may seem overwhelming, but you absolutely do have the strength to see it through to a successful outcome. So, you know, I, I feel like this man who has a heart for someone else is trying to find the strength, you know, like he's been through some stuff, you know, um, again, finding out that uh, when you do find out or he found out that there was some spell work being done to manipulate him into being with this woman and uh, or trying to bind him to her because um, there's no more attachment. The attachment, if there was an attachment, it's gone, fell off. Let's see how we doing for time. 18, 20, 19, 26 on the clock. So you have two numbers of fives here. Five means change. Also means challenges, could mean conflict, all right? You do have hostilities at the uh, bottom of the deck. What else do we have? We have all the chakras out here. We have the third chakra, Archangel Chamiel, and then we have Goddess of the Moon, okay? It's all secrets. 
Solar plexus chakra, it's about your willpower. Okay? So this man needs to find strength, you know, to move on. And it's about third chakra is your solar plex chakra. It's above the navel, right under the heart, in between the heart and the navel. Um, it's about control as well. Self-control. Like you could be a control freak or um, if you're unbalanced, you're a control freak. Or you, it could be that you give all your control and your power away to people. Um, at any rate, he's gathering strength to, to be stronger in that area. You know, it's, um, at some point, there was an opening for spell work to work that allowed him to give up his power. So he's trying to get that back. Card number 37, someone could be 37, someone could be born in 1973, someone could be born March 7th or July 3rd. 73 is 10. 10 is about completion, cycles ending. So if there was, again, could have been an attachment to his solar plexus, it's not there anymore. It's been removed, dissolved, canceled, destroyed. So yeah, the goddess of the moon, um, if I recall correctly, this is about um, stuff being hidden. It's no longer hidden. Card number 52. Someone could be 52, someone could be 25, someone could be born May 2nd or February 5th. Take it as it resonates. Alright, so we're going to get... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's, get, let's get some people. This is... This is a uh, what's the tea Thursday? So let's find out what the tea is with the melanin kipper deck. What time is it? Twenty two twenty five on the deck on the deck <laughs> on the clock. So you have a child and you have rich lady in reverse. So child could be literal. It could be, you know, there's children involved, but it could also be about somebody being immature. Okay. And since you have rich lady in reverse, you also had woman in the coin with reverse in reverse. So there's a feminine energy who don't have no money. She no longer rich. Perhaps this woman who was rich or it says rich lady, so she used to be rich or she used to have money. Let's put it that way. Um, she was immature, did some immature things um, and lost the money. Could have been immature with the spell work that cost her some money. Card number 18. Someone could have been born in 1981. Someone could be born January 8th. One and eight is nine. Nine is about cycles ending. Which ladies card number 12? Someone could be born January 2nd, February 1st. 12 reduces to three. Three is about growth. It's also about groups, friendship, celebration. She's not celebrating. She don't look like she's happy. So you have great fortune and sad news in, re in reverse. So again, you have rich lady in the reverse and great fortune in reverse. I said someone lost some money. I said she, if she was rich, she's not rich anymore and she lost her money. Some kind of way. Could have been this spell work that she was doing. The same lady in with the coin in reverse. Great fortune is card number 26. So one could be 26. So one could be 62. So one could be born February 6th or June 2nd. Six and two is eight. Eight is about manifesting. It's about abundance and prosperity. And it's gone. 
Great fortune says fulfillment, contentment, happiness, joy. Living in their purpose. Wishes fulfilled. Like wish fulfillment kind of thing. Like you have everything that you need. Sad news. Sad news talks about disappointment and setbacks. But it's in the reverse. So it's it's not sad news to somebody that this, this money is... Uh, Not being received by this rich lady. Somebody's happy she's not getting it. <laughs> Could be this man holding a heart. Who has a heart or love for someone else. What else do we have? Holy Spirit. So you have work and courthouse. So work talks about craftsmanship, handmade. You could be self-employed. She could be self-employed. Take it how it resonates. But it's in the upright. So at least somebody's still employed. Someone's still making money. Card number 34. Someone could be 34. Someone could be 43. Four and three is seven. Seven is about reflection, introspection. So someone could be thinking about work. Thinking about becoming self-employed. Thinking about their job. You have court though. Court talks about official documents, lawsuits, claims. So uh, something's coming down. It could be news about this great fortune that this rich lady ain't getting. This former rich lady. But it's about some legal stuff. So let's, let's, it could be some legal um, stuff coming down about someone's work. Court is card number 23. Someone could be 23. Someone could be 32. 3 and 2 is 5. Change. Change or conflict. Chaos. Challenges. That's what 5 means. Let's see where we got. So we have letter in reverse. And we have thoughts in reverse. So if someone was waiting on a letter... Informed communication, email, text, or message, it's not coming. Maybe this uh, rich lady in reverse was expecting the, a letter about this great fortune she's not getting. She was expecting the court to give her a letter about her receiving great fortune, and she's not getting it. You have thoughts. Thoughts in the reverse. In the upright, thoughts is, you know... Someone preoccupied with it, overthinking. So just like someone's not sad about it, someone's not even worried about it, someone's not thinking about it, someone has no thoughts as to this rich lady not getting this great fortune. I bet you she's thinking about it, though. How are we doing for time? 28, 12, 1 o'clock. Let's get a few more, and then we will uh, close it out. So we have official court court official and we have a gift in reverse so again court official is is could be a judge a lawyer magistrate it's a government person court official come to tell somebody they're not getting a gift this gift could have been the great fortune great fortune could be an inheritance Could be uh, a life insurance. Gift is a charity. It's something uh, someone is is giving. It could be promotions, like like a uh, like job promotion. Like I'm offering you this job because you do good work. Windfall. It's not happening. Courts delivering that document. course delivering a letter saying you're not getting that okay last two messages last two so we have change and we have military man in reverse change is coming movement could be a change in career travel card number nine nine is about cycles ending something's ending which is the change okay but we have military man in reverse okay and whenever I think of military people or military person in reverse, I think of honor, dishonorably discharged or a former military person.
I also, I always feel the energy of a, a police officer, like a dirty police officer. So perhaps this rich lady in reverse and this military person in reverse were expecting great fortune and a gift that they're not receiving. Yeah. All right, I'm going to close that out with the angel message. You have six, one, and zero. Angel number six, one, zero. Six, one, zero. Angel six, one, zero says, love yourself. Love attracts love. Your angels want you to send more pure, unconditional love to yourself by modeling what you want to receive. What you want, wants you. Self-love will attract positive relationships into your life. Meditate today on what unconditional love in your life feels like in its purest form. Self-love. Self-care. All right, this is your reading. That is your message. I hope that you enjoy the reading today, and I thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.